but tonight a neighborhood narrowly avoided a huge disaster when a recycling truck caught fire, caught a house on fire. That That's is. right, the truck caught fire, mm -hmm. and Nicole, within seconds, the house it was in front of went up as well. This happened off Los Gavatios Boulevard off Cedar Road in Chesapeake a little before 9 this morning. According to one witness, it could have been much worse. Tell your side's Matt Gregory has followed this story since this morning. So, Matt, what else did you learn about this? Tom and Nicole, you can see the damage behind me. It looks like a flamethrower brushed across the front of the house. It actually singed the, the roof as well as melting the siding. A man who witnessed it says he thinks it's a miracle that no one was killed. When the truck first exploded, the driver who was trying to put the fire out at the time got blown back as a loud, a loud bang and then just that roar of the fire. Christian Phillips followed behind a TFC recycling truck as it started to smoke. He says when he saw flames, that's when he called 911. The driver got out and grabbed a local garden hose and was trying to put it out. A neighbor came over with a fire extinguisher and was trying to put it out. TFC recycling told 10 on your side a hydraulic leak sparked the fire. Phillips captured the images as flames spread to the truck's natural gas tanks. It sounded like a blowtorch, just a giant rushing noise of flames, and they were blowing directly on that house. And it didn't take 10 seconds for that whole, for that whole house to catch on fire. TFC officials say Phillips heard and then saw the pressure release valves discharging natural gas. The gas acted like a flamethrower, destroying the front of the house. Fire crews acted quickly, putting out the flames in both the truck and the house. Phillips says from his lens, it's a miracle no one was hurt. I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe we're not standing here in the midst of a tragedy. Like this could have been so much worse. That guy was standing right next to that truck when it blew up. I spoke with the chief operating officer of TFC Recycling. He told me that the company's insurance would be covering all the damages to the home. He also said they took the truck back to inspect it to see what went wrong and caused the hydraulic leak, as well as what happened with the safety valve to make sure all of their trucks are up to code and this doesn't happen again. In Chesapeake, Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.